Welcome everybody to tonight's Scar Club Live from Cats Fest 5 here in San Antonio. We are sitting today with a jack of all trades, <laughs> uh, Mr. Shorty Rossi. Thanks for sitting with us. Well, thank you for having us here, Matt. What, um, I'm going to start off with uh, just my history with Shorty that he's unaware of. Uh, I was telling them on the way down here, uh, a couple of years ago, I got snowed in my grandmother's house. We were moving, she had moved to a facility and I was helping her move and I got snowed in to her house for three days. And she had canceled her satellite TV, and all she got oh. were two channels, <laughs> Animal Planet and, like, a military channel or something. But Animal Planet, for some reason, was much clearer. So I, for three days, they were running marathons of Shorty's TV show, Pit Boss. So I feel like I know you, even though I've never <laughs> sat down with you. Uh, it was, and I was, trying to, I was trying to describe the show. I really liked, I, I really liked the concept of the show. I liked... The entertainment side angle Aspect, of the yeah. Shorty's entertainment world, uh, as, lo- as as well as the rescue, it was it was, it was a really good show. Um, so that's that's my interesting. That's you got stuck with me for I three days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it was just one day, but it, they just yeah. kept. I watched them Aaron repeatedly because they started over again. Um, what brings you? Uh, what your relationship with Storm and Cigars for Warriors? Um, what 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 brings you here? It goes back several years. I got into the cigar market around two thousand ten. Um, with AJ Fernandez and a couple other people and you just start meeting all people and we met and he was you know asking me or telling me about his you know what he does with cigars for warriors and I'm like yeah what do you want me to do and he just said you know help us out promote us and uh, you know and it was a good thing and I because of cigars I've been able to go to different uh, military bases around the country and make visits and stuff oh, like cool. that I, I remember one time uh don and angie felt uh were there with uh storm and he said shorty i want to take you to fort hood and i went to fort hood and we were passing out cigars and everything to the troops that we collected from people that give to me right and we go to ipcpr we collect them and we just turn around and give them away and he goes you want to shoot a, a gun or two and i'm like is that legal for me? <laughs> and he goes and he gives me this big fifty caliber oh, yeah. thing. Oh, and I yeah. thought I was gonna must have cleared. Everyone's like, I was like, no, no, I'm like, let go, let go. And I'm like, okay, sorry. Then he goes, come here, I want you to shoot off something. I didn't know the terminology. These mortars. And I'm like, okay, we're going. I'm watching. We drove out there, and I'm seeing them mortars being shot. I'm like. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? And it was these 60 caliber mortars. Oh, wow. And I was like so stoked, excited. And I said, so we're going to get in trouble, but let's do it. And the guys were explaining to me what to do. If you drop it, the whole everyone around you is dead. I'm like, <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure there. And I was supposed to do four. And my assistant who was with me then was supposed to do four. And when I did my four, I was like literally shaking of just like adrenaline and then my my assistant christian goes uh-uh and he's like and so i got to do his four too so you know and back to storm is that we just bonded and um he was trying to get me to come to cat's fest probably one two and three and my schedule was like the, the when he tried to get me to three and i'm saying i'm going to argentina he's like Come on. I'm like, yeah, San Antonio or Argentina. There's a difference there, okay? <laughs> you know, volunteer gig, pay gig. You know, th- hold out there. I got to pay the bills sure. because, you know, I come here on my own. And so I came last year, and I had a blast, and it was an f- amazing thing. And it is, you know, so I always work it out of my schedule now to make it open just to come out here. That's to, awesome. You know, and he's became a very, you know, close friend. And we're always talking about doing other things together. We always do a lot of online sales and, you know, with different things for the troops and everything. And we were just doing a couple of things on uh, some group called Cigar Cartel, Mm -hmm. where I raise money selling different things that I've collected and then turn it over to the dogs and to the troops. Well, that's awesome. Uh, That hits us close to home. We actually do our show uh, right down the road from Fort Hood. So okay, uh, we're, we live in a big military community. So, uh, and we're here for the same reason for Storm. Um, we we go probably back around 2010. I go yeah. back with Storm and 
um, he's just a special guy. Well, you can see the camaraderie we have. I mean, we're just being clowns up there. And you two play fun. off each other very nicely. <laughs> you know, and, and also Chris, too, which, you know, he's part of the three the stooges. Man. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a very good cause, and we enjoy doing it. Well, uh, just off the bat, thank you for all you do for the troops and Cigars for Warriors. Um, we, we interviewed Jacqueline Reed, uh, their marketing director, earlier, and just the the amount of volunteers and the hours they put in um, selflessly to uh, to, yeah. to get this cigars over there is, is just so admirable. Um, it's, it's just we we really feel strongly about the charity. So what else you got going on? I mean, we did after six seasons of Pit Boss, it was getting out of hand and it was not a good place to be at the moment. And I wanted to get away from certain people, so. Animal Planet asked for another six episodes, and I had asked him, there's something else I can do for the you know network besides this. I mean, I'm going to continue doing what I do, the same thing, but sure. they said, let's do an online series, and let's do a couple promos and guests on other shows, and so I did that for a couple more years, and been doing the tour circuit, and I'm a keynote speaker now. I, You know, last weekend, we were in Syracuse, New York, and we were speaking at a uh, a school we went to a prison spoke at a prison then visit uh animal charities and raise money for them and i go back home next week and two days and we go to a show in new york and so we're doing the tour circuit i mean i get the opportunity to go all over from seattle to new york all the way down to argentina and all over latin america doing this and it's like you know you can always rescue so many dogs but if you can bring awareness and change people's minds whether you're rescuing a dog or turning your life around from going back to prison then i think that's far much better sure than then you know because you can only do so much you just have to educate people in each category absolutely do you still have the entertainment uh shorty it was a shorty, shorty, wood, wood productions. shorty wood productions yeah we still have it it's uh you know when people get shows and they get on cameras some people's head gets bigger than others and that's another reason we had to leave because well, the little people would have been found buried somewhere, but we're not going there. But I, I couldn't take it no more. So we do on the big major contracts. I mean, the last big one we did was uh, come party with Shorty's 10 Leprechauns at the D Casino and Hotel in Las Vegas. Okay. So we do the big contracts. I mean, I really like that aspect of the show. I was kind of telling them is like, you know, seeing like sometimes the well, I guess that's what makes good TV conflict, conflict. Did, yeah and it know. was there was probably more conflict behind camera than there was on I mean oh, it wow. was especially the last couple <laughs> of seasons and then production problems and everybody's going for the dollar and you start the more seasons go by they start you know cutting the budget not the network the production company uh -huh. which I don't care about and it puts our lives in danger for what we do and you know so but we still do. I still do the same thing. I mean, I no longer live in Los Angeles, but we can do it from around the world. Sure. I live in Mexico. Okay. So it's the same ongoing thing. We got, of course, a charity here, but we also have a foundation or a charity in Mexico, too, doing the same thing. And in the, in the, we want to call the village I live in. Uh, we do free spay and neuter programs and everything for all breeds of animals. Awesome. Okay. Um, well, I, I just, I think I speak for everyone here at cats fest that uh you do add a an element of fun and and you you you, you give storm a uh, a good ribbon and well i, I can I'm do always, i'm not I'm getting for paid for this so i'm gonna do whatever the hell i want <laughs> i don't have to wait until the end of the week and where's my check no uh, i can do anything i want and then, hey you like it or not let's have it well thank you uh for all you do for cats and uh you know just i can't say enough for cigars for warriors uh dedicating uh the time and it's just uh it's something that I, we just really stress more people should get involved we are with. i forgot to say i don't know if you heard the announcement yesterday with lou perlizzo per he's gonna kill me perlizzo from uh remember operation rescue operation yes, op repo yeah uh we just filmed a pilot me okay. and him and it's nothing to do with the dogs at all he's a car Connoisseur. I've actually seen his show, Operation. Well, yeah, he's a car connoisseur, and I'm a cigar connoisseur, so we filmed a pilot called Cars and Cigars. Okay. And we're in the process of doing, get, trying to get sponsors so we can get it onto a network, so hopefully that'll tie in well in the next year or stuff we'll like that. We'll keep our eyes out for that. Just, uh, people want to know what we do, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, at Shorty Rossi. Okay. Because when it comes it. to social media, I'm like a 
two dollar prostitute. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, that's why that's, that's always why pitching we the wear. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, thank you. We'll keep keep our eyes out for cars and cigars. Uh, that those are two huge subcultures. There should be an audience. It for just it. Yeah, there is an audience. It's just getting tobacco on TV. Yeah. That's the problem. What so the, what's the American Wealth Channel? The AWE Channel it sounds right up there, alley. Amer- yeah. Uh, so. And you know it's a good thing and for people who love cars and cigars. Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess the tobacco might be a hurdle. I noticed when, no, because uh, they—that's uh, the reason why I say it's because they have like a an actual cigar show to where like there's this guy in a white white shirt with oh, the really? little well, really I didn't fedora. hear about this. Uh, AWE they, they run it. It's the AWE network. Oh, Comes on every now and then. Because right. mm-hmm. uh, I noticed okay. on uh, this season of the Celebrity Apprentice, mm-hmm. Arnold Schwarzenegger was the host, and after the first episode when he fired somebody, they showed him cut a stogie and, and, and light it up and lean back in his chair and I'm like that's not going to get and sure enough he never did that he, he never saw it again he <laughs> well never. we had when we were filming I mean you can we had a constant battle with me smoking on the show and it was like they would hide my cigar cutters they would hide my lighters and then for the years I had a humidor on the side and it said the diesel brand they didn't know what that was. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then next thing, when they found out, they were pushing a little photo in front of it, and I was turning <laughs> around, and they were like, you know, and then they, it, it came a big topic, is you can't smoke the amount yeah. you smoke. Yeah, I said that the people, because normal people don't smoke five cigars a day. I'm like, well, yeah, right. But so, but it was a constant battle. And sure. then I would like agree to do certain things, but it was funny. I'd like, give me the cigar card. Watch it. We used to like, I used to have a cigar in my mouth, right? And I used to be like, have this in my hand and pretend I'm going to like, okay. And I put it down. And they're like, and I was just holding the cigar the whole time. Just driving crazy. And then I used to do, I used to click the cigar card back and forth, click, click. And the sound guy used to, you know that, the sound guy used to, stop it. <laughs> you're, I can't get you're, you're driving me insane he's in the back room he's like stop it he goes because I'm fidgeting because uh, you know I'm like so but we were able to do it and that's what helped us out with our you know cigar industry too because we were getting away with something we weren't supposed to be doing yeah. and I knew they weren't going to cut me off just because I was smoking on the thing I'm like first last week you tell me to stop fucking cussing so much now you tell me don't smoke cigars what do you want I thought you wanted me on the show. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. yeah. You told me to You're be stripping me. Stripping everything exactly. out. Of yeah, you told me to be me. He yeah. goes. He said, "Shorty, at one show we had to bleep you thirty-seven <laughs> times." <laughs> well, that's when I go on a tirade. That's normal. Hello. Uh, <laughs> sex know. violence. That's okay, but don't you light up a cigar? All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll, so never, I'll never understand it. Uh, and you, speaking of uh, diesel, uh, you do a cigar with AJ Fernandez, correct? Three cigars. Three we cigars. Do the original one we started with, the diesel shorty. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, then we do the Diesel Shorty Grind, which is only sold in brick and mortar and not online. And we do Diesel Shorty Rage now. And so it was supposed to start out at a limited edition, and it's been the strongest brand. I did a, we did a Shorty Acid before as a limited edition. We did a a Shorty Punisher with uh, Nestor Placencia. And so, but our main brand and the main thing is diesel. It, it sells well. It's been going we're on. Big, and, we're big fans of AJ. You know, and yeah. we're, you know, and we're all worried about the FDA and they're idiotic, moronic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but. It's been a black cloud on. over the festival, much yeah. less this year. Last year was, re- it just happened. It was really kind of a, a depressing talking to some of the manufacturers. Well, was, no, where is it going? I mean, it's. Yeah. I'm for I'm like it's a good set you know, income for me, but it's not my only income. But sure. it's still, you know, and I love doing it. Yeah. You know, so and hopefully we can keep supporting everybody that's supporting this and Absolutely. continue on. Absolutely. Uh, well, Shorty, thanks for sitting down with us. Uh, not a problem. It's really good to to finally meet you in person. That I'm sweltering my ass one like a waterfall coming down my butt. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the hottest place I, in I the area. I literally look like I just <laughs> came out of swimming pool. Uh, but uh, we look forward to seeing you next year uh, and the year after and the year after. And just uh, thanks again for all you do. Okay. Well, thank you for having me on the show, guys. Check out Shorty Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, Facebook. Keep your eyes out for cars and cigars, and uh, we'll catch you next time. All righty, man. Thanks, thanks. Get up, go to work, get drunk, go sleep, I get